English presentation by Taylor Starks on Ma Jod from the book The Grapes of Wrath. Our first scene in which we see Ma Jod is when Tom comes home from being imprisoned. He was accused of murdering a man, and so when he comes home after several years, his mother is very emotional, of course, in seeing him. But this is the first and the last time that we see Ma Jod lose control over her emotions. And the only thing she said that was significant about losing her emotions was, Don't touch me. I have to regain my calm. And once she composed herself, she was back to being the pillar. We see this trend in Ma Jod a lot during the book. She is the base of the family, the pillar. Every foundation of the family is built around her strength. Even though she was a woman, which was kind of a lower role for women in that day, she was very much the patriarch of the family, and she led the family and kept the family together, through the thick and the thin. Ma Jod was a very compassionate person, but she was also very determined. When the family packs up and decides to move to California, she supports the move all the way. She makes a lot of the crucial decisions that the father losing hope is unable to do. When her grandmother dies, she doesn't lose her calm, she doesn't lose her composure. She, even though it must have been a really difficult time for her emotionally, she stayed stable and kept the family calm. And when they, when they buried her, she stayed calm and she stayed cool and collected. She didn't let her emotions get the best of her and she still had that hope going on in her because she believed her motivation was a belief that her family could do better and would be better in another land. And as long as she could reach that other land, there was hope for the rest of her family. And because she loved her family so much, she clung to that hope like no other person in her family did. Another example of Ma Jo's determination and her stability in the family was when Tom broke was about to break his parole and she she talked to him and she calmed him down convinced him that he needed to stop what he was doing to break his parole because he needed to keep with the family and to keep going another example is when uh, Rose of Sharon's husband Connie left her and left her with a with an unborn child and she was emotionally distraught she was a mess Rose of Sharon was completely unstable, she couldn't, she felt like giving up, and she pretty much just got to the point where she didn't want to do anything, she didn't want to go on, it was over for her. So when, when Ma Jod saw this happening, for, for a long time, the period of time, she comforted her, she loved her, she had compassion for her, and she listened, and she was there for Rose of Sharon. But when the time came where Rose of Sharon said, I, I give up, I don't want to go on anymore, Ma Jod was there and said, hey, you need to get back on your feet. You know, if nothing else, you have this child to live for. What about the family? You need, you have other people to think about. You have to keep going. And Rose of Sharon did. And at, at the end of the story, when Ma Jod and they finally all get to California, I believe that the biggest reason that family stayed together was because of Ma Jod. She... She kept the family together because she cared for all of the family members enough to push through everything, even when her own emotions threatened to give way. She kept them in check just for the sake of the family. When, when the men got jobs when they were on their way to California, that one time where they were able to work in the factory, she was overjoyed. And I think little things like that along, along the way motivated her and, and encouraged her to keep up that hope. And she looked for the little things. She looked for the small things to, to grab onto, to grasp, to pull her forward, and in thus pulling her forward, pulling her family along. I really believe Ma Jod was crucial in this book and in the family's life. And I don't think they ever would have made it without Ma Jod.